Music is often commissioned for a game very late in production, once the gameplay and the story have been fully set. In the case of Hellblade, we wanted to take a very different approach, and for music to be part of the creative process from the very beginning. I imagine two different styles of music, one for Senua and one for the Vikings, perhaps even by different composers. And I was pretty sure I knew exactly who could do the Viking side of things. His music is very aggressive, tribal, dark uh, and contemporary. And he's from Norway, which is the land of the Vikings. While still in the concepting phase of the project, we got in touch with Andy Le Plague from Combichrist, who we've worked with previously, to see if he'd be interested in working on Hellblade. It was uh, quite interesting. We, we set up a Skype meeting, we were talking about everything, and it was great to be able to get into the game so early, so you can set a pace and help the creative process of the game. And now I'm here. Andy was on tour at the time, and given that he was going to be in London, Tamim took the opportunity to meet with him to go through the concept and to talk music direction. Initially, they wanted me to do uh, just the battle scenes, the Viking side. But I was more interested in actually doing everything because you could make it seamless and like one soundtrack for the, for the whole game. We let Andy explore as much as he wanted for the first four weeks without any further direction. Tamim flew out to Andy's studio in Atlanta for a few days to help steer him for the next few weeks. On the first day I listened to everything that Andy had produced for Hellblade so far and it didn't need much more direction from me. The music was diverse, it was exciting, a lot of it was unexpected but it all seemed to fit in extremely well. I don't think they really um, knew what I was going to do and I really just wanted to have free hands to, to explore on this. Still one of the most interesting and hardest things I've done so far because you really have to be inventive and go into areas I've never been before, which is um, obviously a, a great opportunity as an artist. I wanted Andy to have a very clear picture of the storyline we had so far. So the next day I took him through the characters, the, the key plot events, the way I imagined the game would unfold. We had all the bits and pieces of stories and um, it was really helpful when I could really place that on, you know, just on a whiteboard and really fit the different tracks into the different, different uh, areas. And that way I had a wider view on what was missing, um, what we need more of, where we can push it even further and where we can pull it back. The Viking side of things was to have a cultish, warlike, tribal feel to it. And I encouraged Andy to use his knowledge of the Norwegian language in the Viking songs. Being Norwegian, I can at least use my language and trying to get more into to the Norse to create that uh, Viking era feel to it. To the Viking side of things, I wanted we, or we wanted to make it a little alien to Senua, something that really doesn't fit into her world. So we've been experimenting with different things, so everything from vocal pops and, and different types of metal and you know, recording organic sounds. That's where a lot of the very dark side of me <laughs> um, came out. Uh, we're using guitar quite a lot, but it's quite interesting what you can actually do in an instrument when you look at an instrument and you try to figure out how can I use this and not make it sound like what it's made for. <laughs>
The Senua side of things was to have a completely different feel to the Viking side. And I didn't know what to expect from Andy on this front, but I was more than happy for him to experiment. I was writing um, a song for, um, for Senua or for Senua's mother. The first thing that hit me was uh, a nursery rhyme like a lullaby from when I was a kid myself. My mom would always sing to me, so it's quite surprisingly, I haven't really heard that song since I was probably five, but um, it came back to me pretty fast when we tried to set yourself in that situation. When I approached Senua's side, we wanted to do a little bit more folky and a bit more familiar um, when you think of her character. Now the loss of all for dying the lost is mine. Lost in to be a part of the creative team and not just, you know, be hired to do music is, is uh, amazing because you really, you get to be involved with the whole progress of the game. And um, I think that certain things that I do with this can shape the storyline somewhat of the game as well maybe opening new doors that none of us knew that even was possible. No one to hear me sing my song No one to hear the right from wrong I lines for what I've done Andy will continue working on Hellblade at key stages of production and soon we'll be sharing one of Andy's tracks on hellblade.com. <laughs>